Before we begin, you need to know the layout of the whole keyboard. If you don't, I recommend a good app called Fun with Typeability or Talking Typer. If I hadn't made this clear already, you're going to need a Windows computer. Um, doesn't really matter what version. I'm using a Windows 10 computer. That's a laptop. So, there are a few ways to navigate around the screen. First, you can, if you have a touch screen, do it like with voiceover, where you take your finger and swipe. I should probably slow this down, but um, it's basically reading what's on the screen, and it's kind of a pain to slow it down, unlike with voiceover. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you can swipe. System menu bar. And, System you know, menu collapse. Minimize button. Double tap. Like, like that. But there's a much more friendlier way. If we look at the bottom right, there will be a group of floor keys called the up, down, left, and right arrows, which is much easier. So, like, to, f to swipe, you can use up, down, left, and right. But that only works in some applications. So what you want to use a lot of the time with JAWS here, oh, it's so simple. All you're going to need to know is your tab key, your shift key, your enter key, your control key, and your escape key. So to navigate around this screen, not the windows up there, this screen. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. You just hit the tab key. Task bar, Microsoft Edge button to activate rest space bar. Notification Chevron button to activate. Show desktop button to activate rest space bar. Folder view list view. Not selected. Zoom object. Five of nine. Oh, to and you're going to need your space bar just start sometimes. Now, it said start button to open, press enter. So I'm going to do that now. And now I'm in my search box where I can, and it, it's saying everything on the screen. So you would sort of use this like a normal computer. I could search, you know, typing. And it would um, read the letters out loud, or I could just navigate with the oh, down Amazon, arrow. Amazon Prime Video, so it's like, so it's it has all the apps here, and instead of looking at them with your eyes, like a normal computer with Jaws, you'd use your up and down arrows or your Tab key and Shift Tab. Access, so I have like access, whatever that is. I've never used that. Alarm and clock. Alexa. Amazon. Amazon Prime Video. Audible. Calculator. Calendar. Camera. Connect. I don't know what that is. That's the 3D printing software. Duolingo, which doesn't work very well. Ear Hockey, a Microsoft Garage project. Um, so yeah, things like that. Um, let's let's open up the web browser. So to do that, you um, go into your search menu, which can also be accessed through Control Escape pressed together. Um, so it's just like a normal keyboard. So you would. Put your hands on the home row, but I'm filming right now, so I can't exactly do that. So, it's sort of like a normal desktop because I pressed the C and the H and it said Google Chrome app. So I know that's where my cursor is and I would just hit enter. Um, I actually have a shortcut key on Chrome that I need to get rid of. So let's do that now. Um... I don't know why it's, it tells us the font, but you just keep pressing tab, or you can press these. Customize this page. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, shortcuts tab. Uh, having some issues here. Um, 
Don't visit the sites. Shortcuts are suggested based on high shortcuts. Don't show shortcuts. High shortcuts. Check cancel button. The button. Mm, how do I delete it? Oh, I know how to delete it. So, I press my tab key until I get to the shortcut I want to delete. Um, I don't want to go to link. I'm not sure how. I'll figure that out. But I know there is a way to delete shortcuts. Um, but let's say we want to search for something. We can either press the up arrow until we get to, um, what we want, which would be the search bar, but because it's in a different region, we'd have to shift tab until we get there. Now, when it says edit, type in text, that basically means search for something. Um, now I don't want to get copyrighted here, so I think the best way to do this would be, you know what, I know what to do, um, www dot Google. <laughs> and I can just hit enter on that, and it should get me to Google. But for some reason, it's... Oh no, now I am at sort of a, the Google page, the home Google page. Now there's one more thing I want to show you guys. Um, now... For those of you, this your insert key will be at different places, but if you insert F7, it pulls up the um, links list where you can use your up and down arrow to get to a link. And that is basically the basic functions of JAWS. Um, you do have to pay for JAWS, but the good thing is, it works in, oh, and Alt F4 to close a program, but I feel like everyone would know that, and Alt Tab to switch programs. But basically, um, you do have to pay for the software. I got it free through my school, and um, it's very handy, and there are tons of tips on it, and if anyone knows how to delete a shortcut in Google Chrome, let me know because I am having trouble with that. So just a quick overview. You can use up and down arrows, tab and shift tab to navigate, insert F7 to open the very handy links list, and control escape to get to your start menu, alt F4 to close a program, and alt tab to switch between your programs. And remember to subscribe to Don't Mind Being Blind. Bye.